Hi ladies, so I just wanted to pop on and quickly show you um, how to make your MailChimp lists GDPR compliant. Um, so go to your lists within MailChimp and on the drop down menu go to settings. In settings, click on list name and defaults. Um, and that will take you through to the list name and campaign defaults information. And this will be unchecked as standard. So you just need to tick that to enable the GDPR fields to customize your forms to include the GDPR fields that you're gonna ask people to opt into or what they want to hear about from you. Once you've done that, make sure you save the list and campaign defaults. So this needs to be done for every list that you have. Okay, so um, when people sign up from now on, um, you are GDPR compliant. Then go to sign up forms and click on the form builder. And you'll see further down, the marketing permissions have now been brought over. So you can make this just as a standard form, you can make it branded with your logo and um, colors and so forth and images. But while we're looking at the GDPR section, if you click on this section here, come on, um, it brings up on the right hand side, uh, or the information you can change. So marketing permissions, if you wanted to leave that as you as it is, you can, you can change it, um, GDPR permissions, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then here, they'll bring in a, a description for you, which is um, by default, Katie Keller, or whatever the name of the business, we'll use the information you provide in this form to be in touch with you and to provide updates and marketing. Please let us know all the ways you would like to hear from us. So. You need to think carefully really about the types of content you're going to be sending your subscribers. So you could have um, prop tips, um, freebies and value. Um, what else do I tell them? Offers. Offers and discounts. Have as many as you want. And they'll update over here in a second when we save them. Um, and then the legal text. So this again is um, standard, comes across, you can change your mind at any time by clicking the unsubscribe link in the footer of any email you receive from us or by contacting us and I've added my um, email address in. We'll treat your information with respect. For more information about our privacy practices, please visit our website. By clicking below, you agree that we may process your information in accordance with these terms. Okay, so we're just gonna save those fields. And what you can do, just to be super clear, when you create a message at the top of your sign-in form, um, I'll generally insert my logo as usual. Not gonna play ball, is it? Ah, clicked on something else. Okay, so just make that a bit smaller. Um, I'm going to just write a super quick message. Thank you for subscribing. Um, just be super clear about what you're writing and what people are going to get by signing up, basically, by giving you their email address. Please select um, the areas you would like to be. up to date with something on those lines um, and I would add in to view a privacy policy like here can't be much more transparent than that you've told everybody that they need to select what they would like to be kept up to date with you've given them the privacy policy to click to click on and read and yeah, you've told them basically what's going to be, what they're going to receive from you in 
terms of okay so that's all update in terms of um your marketing practices so that's all been updated on over here on the list so that is now your list when you embed that for that particular list this form on your website or wherever else anyone signs up with you they can then choose um obviously just take all the the bits out that you don't want as usual and just amend the form in the usual way um until you're happy with the form and make your design changes um, to make it more branded um, and you can't pre-select these ticks as part of the GDPR either so they need to be they ha people have to literally go and um, click on those and that's basically how to make your forms and your list GDPR compliant so you've ticked to allow the forms to have the options and then you've you've made the forms more specific to you and what kind of content you'll be sending them okay so next okay and okay so in managed contacts go to create a segment um, make sure this is enabled the auto update we want to collect contacts match or um, and we're going to go down to marketing permissions is top tips preview that segment and save the segment I'm going to call it exactly the same so it's nice and easy auto update is enabled and we're going to save that okay so that's the first one um, let me just go back and we'll do that again So contacts, create a segment, um, or da, 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 marketing permissions is freebie and values. Um, previous segment, save a segment. Um, previous and value that should be. So I have to go and change that in a second. Auto update and save. And people can opt in to up to five different areas. So do think about the names that you're looking to, um, you know, looking to create. And the last one for mine, offers and discounts. Save. Okay, so that's that bit. So you've now, enabled those different segments so that when you send an email campaign um, if it's about offers and discounts for example if people have selected not to receive that you can just segment out and just send people the content that they've requested to hear about so hope that helps everybody um, i'm going to create another email telling you how to send a re-permission email out to those people um, if you feel that you need to send a re-permission re -permission email out using MailChimp they'll let you know how to do that in the next um, video hope that helps